Morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to look at my Starbuck Phantom here, which has suffered a horrible little ding. Uh, we've all been in this position. It doesn't feel nice. It could be a ding, a graze, your fault, someone else's fault, doesn't matter. It's something we want to deal with very quickly. Um, and that's what I intend to do this morning. Uh, and once this is done, I'm going to go on a pleasant cruise uh, over to the Isle of Wight. So do subscribe if you like the sound of that. As you know, by now, this is the channel for long distance windsurfing and adventures. Uh, so hit the like if you find this video helpful and we'll get on with the repair. So what do we need? We need the Dr. Ding epoxy stick. Perhaps you can see this very well known brand. I'm not sponsored. It's just something I've always used. Very helpful. Does the job well. So you've got your Dr. Ding there. Just assorted sandpaper. This is from Wilco's, could be from any hardware shop. And a clean knife and board to cut the Dr. Ding epoxy stick. Right. Now, before I've done anything at all, I've washed the board down. It's free from grease, dirt, grime, everything like that. And also free from salt. So, it's drying nicely here in the sun and I'm ready to use my coarse sandpaper. So I'll do a bit of that first and see how we get on. Right, now we're moving on to applying the epoxy to the board and you can see the greys there that I've sanded down. And I'm gonna take my epoxy stick and remove this outer plastic layer and gauge how much I'll need for that section right there. So. I think that's going to be more than enough and when you look at the end you can see a green outer and a white inner and it's by mixing these two that you get the adhesion so i'll cut this cleanly onto the board like so again there you go and straight away we're going to do this within certainly the five to ten minutes of cutting but ideally just straight away just mix it mix it and you'll get this adhesion once it goes onto the board but the key is to do this straight away because it'll tend to set within about 20 minutes so there we go you can see the white and the green all merged into one I'll keep going and that looks good to me that looks good to me there's quite a lot there so that should be more than enough and I'm just going to use my thumb, I'm going to be careful of any final splinters because of the fiberglass, but there should not be any having sanded it. And I'm pushing it into these little gaps. There we go. It's not going to look pretty straight away. We'll, we'll try and improve the appearance with the sandpaper to get rid of excess. But the main thing is you just push it into all the gaps. And the main objective here is not to end up with a brand new board but to end up with a watertight board so that it will last you many years into the future that's the key so I'm just pushing it in pushing pushing and that's a good start I will wind on to the next stage So this is where we're up to. Uh, I've just used my thumb, you can see, to follow the contours of the board, ensure I've got no grass in with the epoxy. If you are on the beach, of course, you'd want to avoid the sand and find the cleanest spot you possibly can. But it's doing nicely here, just drying in the sun. And I'm gonna give this about 20 minutes, half an hour before I tackle it with sandpaper. Okay, so I've left the board actually for a couple of hours in the sun here, so the epoxy really should be nicely dry. You can see tide's gone out behind me, so it's been a good while. And I can tell that it's properly dry by giving it a tap, just checking. There's no suppleness to the epoxy at all. It is as hard as the board itself. So now, if I want to, just to tidy up the job, I can run some sandpaper over this. Now the key with this is just to be very careful, just don't go heavy on it, just ensure that you're giving it a light touch, just to smooth the edges and make sure you've got a nice uh, line to the board, rather than rubbing it down vigorously that has the tendency to pick off whole sections of the epoxy. So just go easy with it, I'm going to have a go at that now 
and then we should have the final product. So there you have it, board repaired, nice and smooth, and ready for action, ready for the next cruise. So I will see you in the next video.